Hello, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to apply for a fellowship at the Software Sustainability Institute. My name is Peter Schmidt, and over the next few minutes, I'd like to take you through my application. But before we do, let's give you a bit of my background. I started my career in particle physics at the University in Hamburg in Germany, with the experiment located at CERN. And in fact, this is exactly how I got into computing in the first place. The next stop in my career was a research fellowship at the Royal Brompton Hospital in London in medical imaging. And again, a substantial amount of work was to develop and deliver software. But at this stage, the concept of research software engineering simply did not exist. And so I did what many of my colleagues at uni did at the time. I changed into the private sector where I stayed for a long time as software engineer, team lead, team manager, and lady, lately as a software architect. Well, right until the end of 2019, when I decided to join the University College London as an RSE. So what exactly do I do there? As a senior RSE, I look after and code for a number of projects. For instance, the Python application for neurology, support for an HIV epidemiology study in the programming language SAS, and building a mobile app for the Institute of Education. And of course, the whole rationale for being here today, podcasting. So what podcast, I hear you ask? Well, in 2020, I joined Research Software Engineering Stories created by Vanessa Sochat from Stanford University in late 2019. RSE Stories brings you episodes on who we are, how we got there, and our ambitions and passions. Later that year, I thought it would be a good idea to augment RSE Stories with yet another podcast show which I launched just a few weeks ago in January 2021, Code for Thought. And in this show, I want to focus on technologies and software methodologies, cover panel discussions and workshops, and showcase and discuss projects. And you can find the links to the podcast at the bottom of this slide. So why apply for this fellowship? Well, being an ambassador for the research software development community, is important now as it's ever been. Firstly, while some countries and institutions have recognized roles as RSEs, there are still plenty of us out there that struggle to get recognition. Secondly, in the survey in 2014, it was shown that software plays a crucial role in science and research. Since then, the relevance of research software has probably increased even more, and therefore raising awareness and promote best software practices plays a crucial role to make research successful. All of this requires continuous effort and a strong community engagement. And the fellowship is a fantastic opportunity to strengthen this community. So how can a podcast help in this? Well, particularly in a time when many of us are in lockdown, working from home and conferences and workshops have moved to being exclusively online, I believe it is vital that we do everything we can to keep in touch with each other. And in Code for Thought episodes, as well as in RSE stories, I bring you stories from your colleagues around the globe, who they are, what they do, and the challenges they face. But podcasts can be more than just passive listening experiences. They can be also interactive. And this is indeed what I would like to use my fellowship for, expand the current podcast shows with a deeper engagement from the community. And this can be accomplished, for instance, with Ask Me Anything sessions, live podcast episodes from conferences and workshops, or using tools such as Patreon to build closer ties with listeners rather than bland social media postings. And finally, let me end this application with this. As we all know, communities cannot run on autopilot. And if there's anything we learn from the pandemic and the lockdown, it is this. Not only is there a need for a strong community, but we also need to put extra effort in to keep it going. I believe that the podcast shows 
can be an important and a useful tool to keep our community together. They are free, they're open access, and they're great fun. They can inform, they can engage, and maybe even provoke some thinking. What better tool to promote our work? What better way to be an ambassador for research software engineering? And so I'm very excited to have the opportunity to join this fellowship and do my bit for creating better and more sustainable software for research in future. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>